Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and we are finally at the day of discussing Cincy Club changes since the changes have gone into effect. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my Scentsy Club right now. Subject does still change. And we're going to do some math. I got the sheets here. We're going to do some long division, some new math. I got an abacus somewhere. We, we might have to break that out. But we're about to get it cracking because there's a lot to discuss. So first of all, let me just say when the changes occurred, I went into my... Um, my website and was just like I thought it was going to look totally different than the way it did so the whole visualization just threw me all the way off and I was just like what in the world like where is oh I, I don't I don't get it so that threw me off and then um I had currently well I had at the time three different subscriptions going on and I was going to have two that were going to come due next month on the 11th. And I was going to have to pay double shipping. Ain't nobody trying to pay for double shipping. So I ended up going in that first subscription, kind of taking some stuff out. What I had thought was going to happen, because like I said, first of all, the whole look was off. Second of all, the way I thought it was going to be was that you were going to be able to click on your bar or whatever the item is. There would be some kind of little indicator next to it. And then from there, you could choose where that bar was going to go. That's not how it works. You can't make things physically jump from one to the other. You basically have to delete it from one subscription and add it to another subscription that was a whole entire pain. I mean, it wasn't like I had a ton of stuff, but it was just that whole point of, you know, making a copy or writing down what was in the first subscription, making sure that wasn't a retired bar, then going, putting it in the next subscription, making sure that next sub subscription was fine, fine, finalized, finito, before going to the subscription that I wanted to get rid of to make sure I had everything. So that is what I did. I think it was last night or the night before. So now I currently have two subscriptions. So I'm going to show you the subscriptions um, right now. So this one right here, that was the first one. It's now empty. And... This is my second subscription. It's bi-monthly. And if you click on the little um, down indicator, then it shows you what is in your, in my club. So you can see what I've got in there. There's a Father's Day bar, um, some bring back my bars. This little indicator lets you know that the product is already um, not available so it gives you that warning if you try to take it out to say hey you know this isn't available anymore are you sure you want to get rid of this so it's a lot of bring back my bars in here um also i have a couple of bars and i don't know why the indicator isn't showing up i think they're still available um bonfire beach and toasted marshmallow the reason why there's no little indicator there but you can see here at the bottom it shows you the total and the total now is 117.48 so let's just go ahead and break out with some math in that so on my bi-monthly subscription there are um 18 items in the subscription Let's see, I'm trying to see where it. Okay, well, there's 18, trust me, there's 18 items in there. So, before when you had, here's my little math worksheet. Before when you had 18, when I had 18 items, you it would have been, it was broken up into 15 bars. So, that would have been 
Um, that was my 15 bars of wax. That was my whip box and my two packs of cotton cleanups. I always get that. So before that would have broken down into one six pack of bars for $30, another six pack of bars for $30. Then those remaining two bars would have been $12. The cotton cleanups are $12. And then your whip box, and that would have brought you to a total of $114. So that was the old total, and that would have been, of course, with free shipping. So now the total is the $117.48. Uh, That's the new total. So right now you can see the difference really is not that much i mean it's a three dollar and 48 cent difference so really no big whoop there um i just wanted to break down to you what the discount is because that i did not understand previously now the discount is 10 percent off of the $102 total. Now that is the total of the bars plus the cotton cleanups. That would be $102. So 10% off of that is $10.20. Then they're adding that $15 discount that you're getting from your half price with box. So if you add 10 plus $10.20 plus 15, that is the $25.20 discount that is showing so it seems like they're making it beneficial if you buy more that's what I am grasping at right here so because without me throwing something extra in the discount would have been less and then it would have been more money so just want to throw that out there so that is for subscription one and that is the bi-monthly subscription. So, now we're going to move to the quarterly subscriptions. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, guys, so now we're at the quarterly subscription. And we're going to push that. Okay, so here's a quarterly subscription. I think this is probably all bring back my bars in this one. So you can see right here what we've got going on. As you know, most of them are already gone. So that's pretty much filled up with bring back my bars. The last three I have in here are the three um, international collection bars. So. You can see right now that my total is coming up to $105.60. So let's go over what it would have been before. So my quarterly subscription has 15 items. They're all bars, as you saw. So before, this would have been once again, a six pack of bars for $30. Now, you remember it was um, bundle and save, so that's buy five, get one free for $30. Another six pack of bars for $30. And then your three, three remaining bars, and that would have been $18. That would have brought you to a total of $78.00. There would have been free shipping, so the grand total would have been $78, period. So now, the way they have it is, I have my 15 bars of wax, 15 times 6 is 90. Um, I'm getting the $9 discount because it's 10% of that total. And then the shipping is $8.10 for a total of $89.10. So, which is, no, wait a minute. Am I in the right one here? Wait a second. Okay, so it would have been $89.10, but 
I got to looking at this like, okay, 78 versus 89, okay, the, the totals are starting to, to widen a little bit. So I decided to throw in a half price item to see what the difference would have been. So in throwing in that half price item, I added um, $30 in washer whips. That brought my total to $120 instead of $89.10, which is basically $90. So it brought the total to $120. Then I have a $24 discount. That $24 discount is made up of the $9 discount for the bars and then a $15 discount, which is half of the amount of the washer whips. That makes up the $24 um, discount total. Then you have the $9 and six, $9 cents in shipping, which now brings you to a grand total of $105.60. Let's see. What am I looking Okay. I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry about that. It brings you to a total of $105.60. Now that is a bigger difference than previously where it would have been um, the 70, well no, previously it would have been $108. Now I didn't write that down, but previously had I threw a whiff box in the way this was previously, when you add $30 to the $78, that would have been $108. So basically you're coming out now cheaper a few dollars cheaper but still cheaper i should have wrote that down and i did not so as you can see what i'm saying you have it's the same amount of items here as it as it is right now but i forgot to add in the whiff box because this was something i'd added at the end just to see how things would fluctuate so if you add that 30 dollar whiff box to 78 Dollars that would be a hundred and eight dollars. So that's a hundred and eight dollars with free shipping versus a hundred and five dollars and sixty cent including your shipping. So there you go. That is my second example of why now I'm seeing that it seems like the more that you buy, the more benefits you get and Everything is either working in your favor, even if it's ever so slightly, or maybe it's coming out in the wash. But on the two examples I have, I'm coming out basically a few pennies cheaper. So let me know, um, have you played around with the numbers? Like I said, this has taken days for me to sit down and like start playing with things, moving things around taking things out, putting things back. It has been a whole entire process. So I did also want to point out, remember that the shipping price varies. If your item total is between a penny and $79.99, your shipping is going to be $8. If your shipping, if your um, products are $80 and over, then that's when your shipping becomes 10% of your total. So that's when the shipping starts to fluctuate. So if you see different shipping prices, just always remember to look at the total of your items and then you'll know why the shipping is what it is. And lastly, I just wanted to point out, you see I still have this empty little monthly subscription spot. I was kind of thinking about throwing a whiff box in there so that it would come monthly now the latest update that we've heard is that the whiff box will be available back on the website starting next month. So it's still gonna be, you know, first come first serve, but at least you don't have to have a Cincy Club subscription to get it. Just make sure you hurry up and get it. So at first I thought, well, I can just throw it in this monthly spot and then I'll always have my whiff box. But then I thought about 
if I want to get some bundle and saves, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is to just do an outright order. So why not wait until I buy my whip box on the first of the month and then throw in whatever bars or whatever kind of bundle and save items that I need. Go ahead and get those at that time with the whip box and I'm good to go. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've done the math, if you've been cranking out these numbers, trying to figure what's best for you, if you just scrap the club all together, if you're rethinking it now. But I wanted to hurry up and do this video since the changes are coming. And I will probably weed out two or three or four more bars out of what I have now that is non bring back my bar. Just wanted to throw that out there too. And uh, let me know. We didn't have to break the abacus out, but you can see it was a lot that uh, that was going through this brain trying to figure out what is going to work best for my pocketbook. So thanks for watching. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.